Helping through the holidays, week two, self-esteem. This is a presentation by Teresa M. Brockmeyer, and Chelsea Hurt, the director of this and supervisor. Welcome. In about 30 minutes, we will take a break and due to the Zoom account, and we'll be automatically logged out, and you will need to log back in. For the recording, people have watched the recording. Um, this session was actually not live. It was pre-recorded without any um, patients or clients, and that's due to the HIPAA laws of 1996. What is self-esteem? Self-esteem is how we value and perceive ourselves. It is based on our opinions and our beliefs about ourselves, which can feel difficult to change. We might also think of this as self-confidence or even self-worth. Your self-esteem can affect whether you um, like and value yourself as a person and you feel that you're worth it and you are enough. Let's take a moment to introduce yourselves and mention three things you're good at doing and then three things you like you like about yourself. Since this is pre-recorded, I will mention three things that I'm good at doing. I'm good at doing photography. I'm good at being a mom and a grandma. And three things I like about myself. Um, I like that um, I'm empathetic and caring and a good listener to my therapy patients. And see, even I have trouble even finding things I like about myself. And, you know, when we need boost in our self-esteem, this is a really good example. And because if we have our um, esteem where we um, need it to be, then we could just actually talk about and then roll off the top of our tongue the three things we like about ourselves. Who am I and what am I to become? Aristotle asked that question a long, long, long time ago. And, you know, we can ponder that. Then it can help with our goals. And then, and then once we're um, satisfied with ourselves and accept ourselves for who we are, then we can become and believe we can become anything that we want to be. You are in control of your self-esteem. People can be telling you words that, that are negative, but you're in control of believing what, you know, you, you know, you want to believe. So if people keep telling that you're um, fat or something else, then if you keep hearing it, you're going to believe it. And if people keep on hounding you to do something, then you're going to believe that you're not worthy. And so if we turn that into, I am fat to I am thin, then we can believe it and then we can reach our goal. Key components that can contribute to low self-esteem, a difficult childhood, traumatic events, personality and temperament, feeling different, negative thought patterns and discrimination and stigma or abuse and bullying. So what can I do to build my self-esteem? In order to increase your self-esteem, we need to challenge and change the negative beliefs about ourselves. This might be, look like an impossible task. Make small goals towards your larger goal. And there are are a lot of different techniques that you, that you can try to help you or a family member um, increase their self-esteem. And then while you're building your self-esteem, you can build others and things to do that increase self-esteem. Do things you enjoy and make the time to do them, like swimming, walking, or running. Find what you like to do the best, and then find hobbies that inspire you. 
Because if you really like something, you'll keep doing it and um, get better at it. And getting better at things and practice at things can actually um, improve your self-esteem. Build on your ex existing relationships and increasing your listening skills. Learn to be assertive and create boundaries. Learn to say no. Work on your physical health and eat healthier. You will feel better and look better. To help a family or friend increase self-esteem, make a special effort to appreciate the friend or family. Avoid blame or shame to the friends and family member. Be patient, be encouraging. Help them seek appropriate counseling if needed. Take the time to listen to them. See, because if you're, you know, mentioning the negatives towards them, you know, that only um, decreases their self-esteem. So if you boost them up and make them to feel better, then they will increase their self-esteem. Positive thinking. Think about positive thoughts that can replace the automatic negative thoughts. Dr. Amen wrote many books regarding this concept of change your brain and then change your life. He writes about killing the ants, not the ants like the insects, but um, the automatic negative thoughts. And, you know, I, I found that hilarious when I seen um, documentaries that he did or, you know, psychoeducation that he did about when we change our brain, then, then we can change our life. It's not only about our thoughts, it's about our health, and it's about our eating healthier. Challenging irrational thoughts can help us change them. Answer the following questions to assess your thoughts. Is there substantial evidence for my thought? So do we have an automatic, a negative monkey mind thought and there's no evidence or facts that lead to that? Is there any evidence to contra contrary to my thoughts? And then am I attempting to interpret this situation without any evidence? So we can um, create all the what ifs, the worries and the irrational thoughts that can um, decrease our self-esteem. And what would a friend think about this situation? Because, you know, we may think one thing, but others may think, you know, positive about us or vice versa, but we can learn from, you know, constructive criticism. If I look at the situation positively, how is it different? Will this matter a year from now? Maybe not. How about five years from now? Now, probably not for most things. Affirmations, they are powerful. Affirmations can help your self-esteem. And then once you repeat them and believe in them, people will say the harsh things and then, and we can believe it. Just like I mentioned earlier, and even um, bullying. So bullying can actually affect our kids, our grandkids and ourselves. Bullying doesn't stop at um, adolescence. Um, adults actually can bully um, like passively and say hurt, hurtful things. When we replace the negative self-talk with a positive self-talk, we can feel better about ourselves. Another thing I always did with my um, telehealth patients um, when um, I do telehealth, I always have um, affirmations that, you know, towards the end or in the beginning or when they feel really sad. And then um, they have to say it with me. And then let's all say this together aloud. You are enough. You are good enough. You are smart enough. You are strong enough. And you are beautiful enough. You are kind enough. 
you are brave enough, you are more than enough, and you will always be. Believe it and achieve it. What if I try everything to improve my self-esteem and nothing helps? You may need to contact us at Family Connections to set up an appointment. And we can guide you through to help you think more positive thoughts. Our locations and contact information is on the next slide. Okay. I added this one. Um, <laughs> Self-esteem bingo. Okay, so how many of you have a bingo that you enjoy spending time outdoors, read well, recognize the ups and, ups and downs of normal as normal and expected, and then respect my own and others' values like a cross down bingo, and then you get a freebie in the middle. Um, many of these we like to do, but many of these we don't have the time to do. And, you know, we need to find the time. So in the live recording with, um, before the pre-recorded, um, blah, blah, blah. Here is the screen that has the locations and the telephone numbers. And um, we'd be glad to talk to you and set up an appointment, have you see one of our counselors. And thank you for this moment that we shared.